a lot of people from all over come to Kailua for Kailua Beach and for Lani Kai. So it's really crowded and like crazy and hectic. And up here in the forest, this is kind of where I find my peace. And I think where I'm most happy. Because, like, being Hawaiian and living in Kailua, you're even more of a minority than being Hawaiian and living in Hawaii. Kailua has a lot of people, I don't know, who maybe moved here later in their lives. And it also is a really popular place with a lot of the tourists. Like, it's a nice place to live, but I think, you know, like Kwainui, our wetlands, where a lot of like the old lo'is and fish ponds, where it's now like, I don't know, people want to develop it. It took me a while to kind of like see past that and to really understand and be proud of my home. I wouldn't like introduce myself and be like, oh, my name is Haonani, I'm a scientist, you know? I just think, I don't know, I'm like doing a lot of geology. Our work is, it's really place-based. So my whole thing is I just wanna learn more about the places that surround me, places in Hawaii. There's stories about the abundance of kalo and fish that could be produced at Kwainui in Kailua. And I think because of how special this place was, it was one of the places that people from the outside really wanted to colonize and to change and make it their own. And I'm not blaming anyone, but I think we were a little too quick to let that change happen. Seeing what has happened to Kailua, like it's not as bad as what's happened down in like Honolulu and like other parts of Oahu, but for small kind of like coastal communities, I think this is kind of an example of if you don't protect the places that you live and if you don't cherish them and realize how special they are until it's too late, this is something that could happen to a lot of other places in Hawaii. Standing at that top of the mountain, it's like you can make a choice. You can continue to live like much of the rest of Kailua, kind of like in that cluttered, like condensed area down along the coast, or you can look back towards the mountain. My name is Haunani Kane. I'm from Kailua, Oahu, and I'm a graduate student at the University of Hawaii, studying the sea level rise impacts upon coastal wetlands and other ecosystems.